now I'm in the beverage alcohol business. So, I don't know if it's here in the restaurants. You can <laughs> What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Clams. I'm Will, I'm here with my friend Mike, and we're headed out uh, to talk fishing, to talk blackfish, white chins. Uh, it's a very short season here. It's what, October to December, yeah? Yeah. So it's only uh, October, November, December. It's about three months, a little bit under three months, maybe about two and a half months, so people go wild. But because it's such a short season, they're usually out there in strength and in numbers. Uh, regulations are that they gotta be 16 inches. Um, I think it's two per person or three? Three. Three per person. Um, and uh, they have, hopefully we'll bring one up and I'll get to show it to you, but they have uh, almost like human teeth. They're very similar to like a sheep's head down south, like in that structure of the mouth. But uh, the meat is gonna be more similar to fluke even or flounder like it's a very very light flaky white meat it's amazing so a lot of times do sashimi with it ceviche um, keep it light you don't have to adulterate it too much but uh, there you catch them with green crabs if you watch the channel then you know I'm actually using green crabs this time not to eat but as bait um, and uh, they're usually in wrecks so they're tricky to get out so Enough talking, let's head out and we're uh, gonna get fishing. look appetizing right <laughs> you get skunked i know <laughs> that's you know <laughs> all right so you fish with you have blackfish jig Oh, I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> it's weird. That's what, what's even more strange is when you're out and about by yourself, talking out loud and people, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. Very strange. Yeah, it happens a lot. Like, people walking around with those, like, ear pods in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> have a full conversation. So we have our green crab cut in half. And what do you, you go through, uh... One leg. One leg. The other. It doesn't really matter which direction. Yeah, yeah. A lot of light down here. Well, there we go. Small packs. Tide's still not moving a whole lot. Take the clicker off there. Hey, now. Corgi? Small sea bass. <laughs> so sea bass real quick that's a good sea bass not so bad yeah yeah and what they got to be 16 yeah let's see just for fun we'll measure this guy this guy is 14 14 not bad yeah yeah nice Send them on all right good sign officially not skunked nope skunked off baby <laughs> There we go. Got him? Yeah. There we are. Ooh. Hey. It's gonna be something. Oh. I think it's the I think it's the same one that you just oh, caught. Bigger, man. <laughs> Let's see. That could be a keeper. Maybe, maybe. Let me turn away from the sun so that you can see this here. God, they're beautiful fish. Absolutely beautiful. 
All right, let's give them a quick measure. Fifteen. <laughs> Getting bigger. I don't know what time the tide's supposed to start moving, but oh, big porgy. Big porgy. Uh oh. <laughs> big and. Oh, that's a good. That's, Pretty big. Not bad. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, dude. <laughs> All right. Good eating. <laughs> That's a big porgy. Yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> that's I'm thinking solid. this is 14, probably. 15, maybe. <laughs> yeah, and regulations on those. Oh. Oh. <laughs> regulations on those are 10 inches and 30, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, so. I think on a, a party boat, you can keep uh, like 45 or something. That's insane. <laughs> I was going to say. Oh, you, short black fish. There we go, our right first species. black. The right species. A baby, but there you go, show that. Here, let's get Oh. <laughs> we want them a little bigger than this, so. A little bit, just yeah. a little. Yeah, it's better. It's like <laughs> hey. You're getting bigger. I, I don't that's, know. That's going to be measurable. That, yeah, let's see. Bring them, it's uh, so funny they do the fin thing. It's like <laughs> show the uh, the teeth there. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're so strong, man. It's unbelievable. Like just pure muscle, this thing. Here, can you get in there? <laughs> Look at that. They have like you human don't want to get bit by those. No, <laughs> I that might be. I don't know, man. There's an awful lot of 15-inch fish around. I was gonna say that that's probably 15 and a half. Let's see. Oh, so <laughs> strong, man. It's unbelievable. 15. 15, like you yeah. said. All right. I'm just happy it's instant the minute you get your bait down there. It is, it's remarkable yeah. how much life there is over here. Really. There we go. There we go. Got him? Yep. That looks all right. Oh, that's a blackfish. That's definitely a blackfish. Well, I shouldn't say definitely, but hey. Yeah, there you go. That's another measurable fish. <laughs> uh, if I had to guess, 15. It's, there are so many 15 inch fish, I can't say enough. Like, they picked that 16 inch size for a reason, I guess. Look at that. Yeah. Half inch off? Yeah. <laughs> oh. There you go, there you go. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I've heard they could do that. So that's uh down in down in Key West, it's it's the muttons. Like mutton snapper has to be eighteen. You you can catch 16 and a half inch muttons all day long. <laughs> it's like every single fish is half an inch. And I it love is. Key West, man. I did my bachelor party in Key West. And, uh, dude, it was outrageous. <laughs> and, um, we did, we did like fishing charters too while we were down there. And then went again like a couple years after with my wife, my brother, and his girlfriend. Did a fishing charter again. It's just it's so amazing, man. There's so much light. It's funny for blackfish being as powerful of a fish as they are, the bite is really subtle. Yeah, it's yeah. Challenging. There we go. It's little taps and then But like I, I don't think I've ever really even seen blackfish on a restaurant menu, you know. <laughs> Not too much, yeah. So what do we we're just coming off slack, right? All right, so tide's just gonna start moving, and hopefully we start seeing. I mean, we're getting bites. That's not a problem. All right, so we're picking away, picking away, picking away. We've had a couple of porgies, some sea bass, a couple of uh, small blackfish, a couple on the cusp blackfish, 
Um, tide is just starting to pick up. So I think we're gonna give it about 10 more minutes and then uh, head to another, another structure to see if it uh, livens up a little bit. So stay tuned. All right, second spot. In, reali in reality, it's about the third or fourth spot, but we'll call okay. it the second spot. We stopped a couple of spots, dropped down, not even so much as a nibble. Um, that first spot was so lively that it's hard to walk away from, or drive away from, rather. But, uh, all right, we're on a new spot now. Give it a couple of minutes here and see, but we're just going from rock pile to rock pile and seeing which one is holding the life. A little, little quiet on this one. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> it's, I don't think it's a keeper, but it's a nice one. Okay. Oh, things it's measurable. Things got quiet there for a while, so this is exciting. Oh, come on, 16 and a half, baby, let's go. That looks good. I think it's good, baby. I think that, that <laughs> looks good. First fish of the new spot, how you Oh, doing? man, yeah. that looks good. That's good, yeah, that's good to go, bro. All right, yep. tail of the tape, let's see. Okay, hold on, I gotta move this stuff. <laughs> First fish in the new spot, man. Oh, that's I'm, why I'm getting tabs. That's why you pulled anchor 20 times, and, yeah. you know. You, that's oh, keeper. I'm definitely getting tabs. That's no doubt a keeper. Oh, I'm, oh, I missed it. I crush the barb on this thing. <laughs> All right, let's so see. so strong, man. Yeah, 16 and a half. Good to go. 16 and a half. We're we like in. It. We like it. All right. We're going to brain and bleed. Oh, I'm on right now. <laughs> oh, it okay. came off. All right. All right. That's why you move 20 times. <laughs> all right. So we got we got our blackfish in the boat. We got a porgy. Now, now the pressure's off. Now it's just fun. Now me and Mike, and we might eat a sandwich now. You know? Uh, you know? I got my bad boy breakfast sandwich, man. Uh, there we go. It's basically a hungry man with a uh, hash brown. Ooh. So, <laughs> I got. Can't go wrong. I got my Italian sub. There you can't go. go wrong with the Italian nope, sub. Never. All right, I think there's gonna be some life here. So. Did you go to Mr. Sausage <laughs> like a stud? But <laughs> Mike is on fire. The jig is hot, baby. That's a different looking one too. This one's got the bars on it. No gold. We might have to switch sides on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> we can switch sides. <laughs> but then if I keep catching them there, we know what's we know. Yep, it's yep. Oh, oh that's a keeper. really good one. Yep. Another keeper. <laughs> Big one. Holy. That's bigger than the last one. Yes, it is. Oh, no. <laughs> that Beautiful is, fish. You see, I see what's happening. I'm getting bites here. It's because I'm filming you. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, you know what? No, Mike's, Mike is... Uh, Make me run the camera. Oh. You got you. Ah. <laughs> I think I can manage holding the camera. <laughs> oh, here. Yeah. Show me show me his teeth. Yeah. If you can pull the hook up there. That one's good. Mangled. Look at the bottom, too. Yeah. It's just nasty, like man. Human teeth. Nasty. Oh, that is, that is a very nice fish. And this spot we're on, I found it on the Navionics. The detail is so good in that app. It's amazing. <laughs> like, I can't believe. Well, it. all right. Now, now the pressure really is off. Now, well, we each got well, one to bring home now. Yeah, this but one's 17. 17. All right. Yeah. All right. We're doing good. It turned oh, on. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we almost jumped out of the boat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it got it. got a little slow there, and I think we both got a little bit nervous. But now, uh, now it's looking good. I just, I just need mine. Just That's all. Find the spot and. <laughs> All right, I actually have a fish on right now that I have to reel up, so. <laughs> I mean, they're down there right away, but I think what I'm getting is the, the sea bass are picking me apart. Yeah. I also, I think I go. I see how you're scoping a little bit. Yeah, Maybe I got to go heavier, yeah. Oh, oh dropped him. Yeah, I'll wait till that crab's off and then I'll go a bigger jig. <laughs> All right. That, that bite was like nothing. Now you're now you're smoking me. Sea bass. That's a keeper. That's a keeper sea bass. Yes, sir. You want to bring him on? I I I got some ideas. Yeah, man. If that's you know. He's gonna be close, bro. Uh, perhaps just 16. 
If it's just 16, 16 no. Nah, he's no good. Okay. He looks good. Felt All right. For a sec. The sea bass, when you stick them, like it, it feels good all the way <laughs> And they just kind of float up. It's that, it's that fin spread. They just go wide out yeah, and open like, their mouth when you're bringing them up. Not a giant, but probably a keeper. All right, what am I, what am I doing wrong here, Mike? Because I don't know. Man. Okay, <laughs> is this the limit here, the one man limit? I think so. I think it's you got another. Close. Oh yeah, all that's day. Definitely a keeper. Yeah, 100%. that's a keeper. Yeah, teeth, baby. Let's go. <laughs> and oh, they get, he's fat. They get that gold on them. It's so cool. Man. Oh, it's so cool. You can't handle these things. They're so strong. <laughs> Strong and slimy. And I'm gonna switch sides because I think Mike's on the hot side. Seventeen. Beautiful. Small. Something. Small. Well, now you're catching the fish. I'm not. See, we switch sides. Go. Small guy. Oh. They're definitely over here, though. I feel the entire time that I'm down there, they're oh, picking away. Something heat. <laughs> something picked it up like off the bottom. Like, oh. feel it just lifted up. I mean, I'm happy. You know, I haven't got a keeper yet, but I'm still I'm ecstatic right now. Oh, <laughs> this yeah. is awesome. It's been pretty much, you know, lock and load the whole time. Like that. We'll, we'll forget about that other spot we went to. Yeah, yeah. You know, I had to anchor three That's what times. I'm saying. This is only the second yeah. spot. This yeah. is only the second. <laughs> no one needs to know about that. <laughs> oh, there we are. No come way. On. Oh, this is a, Come on. All right, we're switching okay. back. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really nice one, maybe. <laughs> uh, it's a keeper. You can keep six. <laughs> All right, next one you hook, hand off the rod like you do yeah. with little kids on, on charters, you know? Here you go, son. You yeah, go. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I got a bad touch or haul oh, that oh, is. Daddy. Hold on. Let me get over here to show in the sun there. Holy cow. A little bit cow. of gold, a little bit of white. <laughs> That's got to be 17. Easily. Yeah. Look at the size of the tail, man. It's a big-ass tail. That is awesome. Such a cool fish. All right, Mike, you done making me look bad on my channel or just still <laughs> just taking me to school? Look, next one, I'll just pass you the rod. Yeah, I'll turn yeah. the camera Yeah, on. there we go. There we go. You guys didn't hear that, but. <laughs> oh, man. Jeez. All right, we're switching sides again. One thing I can't do like you is cook, so. <laughs> Come on, oh, baby. Nah. Oh, what? yeah, let's get bigger. Oh, that it's a good one, man. Definitely good. Net or no? Uh, no, no. Oh, that's a keeper. All, All right. Day. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Let's On the see. board, we'll baby. Give him, we'll give him a measure. We'll give him a measure. Yeah. Let, let me get him not over the side there. All right. This spot we good. are 16 and a half. Beauty. All right. My knife's in the bucket there. You want to bleed them up? Yep. We'll brain and bleed. That's it. I got my keeper blackfish. I don't feel uh, so inadequate now. <laughs> <laughs> One more go. fish. We got our limit, man. Oh, that's excellent. All right. So... One, one of the reasons that Mike was hitting so many fish is because every, every fish has a different take. And you kind of get the feel for it. And I thought I had little fish tapping away, but that is the blackfish bite and once you just kind of lift up and if Mike was saying if you feel weight then set that hook to the moon and uh, that's how I got that fish so had I not done that and kept waiting for a bigger bite I would have missed that guy Where she I'm, goes. I'm elated this, <laughs> this is just <laughs> fantastic yeah this is really great yeah you know it's like you take someone to do this that doesn't really know fishing like kind of what the deal is like that, no, that they don't know it's not just catching like yeah we hit one spot it was good challenges though little fish then we had our other little debacle back in the, <laughs> the shallower water three three times anchoring you know struggling and then 
Now spotting and, whatever. And we'll now we're one away from yeah. two man limit. Yep. In Amazing. half hour at this new spot. Oh, but yeah, so those little little taps, usually that to me would be a porgy. And that's why I wasn't setting the hook, but those little taps could be the the tatog. Alright, um, so of course missed the take, but fish grabbed my uh, my crab, brought me into a rock. I loosened up on the uh oh, it's a keeper too. Limit baby. There we go. <laughs> I think it is. Uh That's might, close. It's, it's close. close. That might be hang on. We're losing here. I, said before, a lot of 15 inch fish. I think that's about 15 if I had to guess. But yeah, nice looking cooler though. This guy dragged me into the rock. I loosened up. I actually opened the bail and he came out of the rock. So even if he's not a keeper, I'm pretty that was that was expertise fishing. You know. <laughs> Alright, let's measure this guy, see if he's legal. So it completely slicked out. Um, it just, it, it's so funny. So the bite died. There's theres nothing. We're not even getting little hits anymore, nothing. And uh, how quickly that happens that when we got to this spot, I mean, we hit pretty much a two-man limit in maybe 40 minutes. And uh, had I not missed all those, <laughs> all those bites thinking they were small fish, we probably could have done it in about 30 minutes. Um, but yeah, now we're just hanging. It's a uh, completely slick, beautiful day. Absolutely beautiful. It's actually getting a little bit hot out. But um, I don't know. What do you think? Probably it. We'll call it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I think we'll we'll travel to islands. Look yeah. For some albies, bass, blues, whatever. I would love to see some albies. That would be a <laughs> special day to you know limit out on blackfish, get a few albies. <laughs> Check out Eaton's Neck, do some snap jigging, maybe get some sea bass. Cool. You know. So. All right. So whatever we end up doing, you guys will come along. You know that. And then uh, maybe next time I see you, if we get into something cool, I'll show you guys. If not, next time I see you, it'll be in the uh, in the kitchen. Still there, still there. Alright, let's see what we can do here. They're still there. I'm just gonna throw in where they were. There you go. Oh, oh, there oh, 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 oh. Come on. <laughs> Dude, and we're like, like here we are in relation to the structure now, but oh, oh. oh. That was seaweed. Oh okay. Oh no. That was sick. Alright, keep your eyes open. It's like mocky grass out here. I, they weren't blowing up. They were just. Wow, they were like rolling, like porpoising. All right, definitely stay, them. Stay tuned. We just, we just saw a bunch of albies. Running and gunning. Huh. That was cool. Yeah, I mean, sixteen. I'd keep it. That's that's a that's keeper. That's a nice one, dude. Yeah. Wow. Yo, get back down there. That's Rob, for sure. Look at the finder. It's good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, ah. Oh. Gotta bleed this guy out. Drop mine here, but we have. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not a bad spot we went over there. Yep. Yeah. We, We're gonna have to do this. We trip. doubled up on uh, two keeper sea bass. We just got small epoxy jigs, or you have. I Not epoxy. Have a small, cheap metal jig from <laughs> small, Amazon. There you go. Small, cheap Amazon jig. I got a hoagie epoxy jig. And we just uh, doing a drift and doubled up on two keeper sea bass. So. Not bad. <laughs> All right. We're going to brain and bleed and uh, go back in. I'll show you a little bit of the action. Hopefully, we hook up again. There we go. Looks like it's good. Oh, yeah. Dude. I mean, again, everything looks good on this rod. Uh, Let's see. Sea bass, like they put the brakes on you. And <laughs> up. Porgy. <laughs> no. <laughs> huh. On these jigs, they're fun to catch. I just can't get over that they're going after a jig. Yeah, so I've never caught a porgy on a jig. We'll use half ounce. There he goes. <laughs> 
the dirty dog. So you know what? We there's as you see. Let me do let me do a pan around here. <laughs> one boat, one boat all the way out there. So there, there's all the room in the world here. And uh, Mike and I did that drift, and we hooked up on those two sea bass. Those guys saw them come up o over the rail, and no joke, they ran up to us and anchored. Well, he had spot lock, but uh, and for those of you that don't know, spot lock's like a trolling motor in the front of your boat, and you don't have to throw an anchor, so you can just keep the boat straight, and the motor keeps you in one spot. But he spot locked, I don't, what, 15 feet from us at first. Yeah to where we were doing drifts and he goes oh are you drifting yeah we're drifting <laughs> so we had to move but uh don't be the dirty dog that was the name of the boat the dirty dog but they didn't they didn't have much luck they were uh bait fishing for blackfish but yeah they saw those two juicy sea bass and they came running don't be those guys <laughs> all right so <laughs> literally after i said that we did another drift right over where they parked on top of where we were drifting and <laughs> Mike just pulled this up. <laughs> Gigantic porgy. That's monster. That's the biggest porgy I've ever seen here. Huge porgy. That's he blew up too. It's an unfortunate measure that? That's gotta be that's gotta be sixteen or fifteen at least, no? Porgy. Sixteen. 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 We gotta keep this guy. It's yeah. like a monster. <laughs> Six and sixteen and porgy. Too, so so we have we have a fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Fifteen and sixteen inch port. That's the biggest that porgy's a monster. But alright guys. This is the last you'll hear from me now. We're gonna head in, in a little bit and I will see you in the kitchen. This is the tallest structure on Long Island. 620 feet. Wow. Okay, we have our blackfish here. They are an incredibly slimy fish, so when I fillet them, I like to have a towel. And no matter how many times you rinse them or uh, wipe them off, they just seem to keep producing slime but we are going to utilize this entire fish um, we're gonna do some sashimi we're gonna use the bones to make a uh, broth and we're gonna roast off the uh, collar so the whole fish is getting utilized now let's let's get in there they don't really have bad scales so they're pretty enjoyable to uh, fillet. The only thing, like I said, they are very slimy so they can slide around on the cutting board. But yeah, no, uh, no hidden tricks here. Like any other fish, you just follow those ribs get down to the spine just keep slicing and I go up and over the ribs I know uh, some people cut through But to make my uh, life easier, I go up and over, just like that. Disconnect those pin bones. And since we're using the, uh, the whole carcass, I don't mind uh, missing some of, that, some of that belly meat. So, when people ask what blackfish tastes like, um, I don't know if any of you have ever had parrotfish, but it is very similar to that. It's a very, very sweet meat. Uh, people compare it to lobster, the consistency and how it cooks up. It's almost a little bit like uh, fluke. 
Sorry, my camera's shaking because it's on the table, so. But there you go. It is a beautiful, delicious fish, and it makes incredible ceviche, incredible sashimi. We're gonna go ahead and cut those pin bones out. I'll do the other side and then we'll get the uh, collar off. So this and the head, I'm going to clean this up just a little bit inside that cavity, but it's pretty clean. Um, this and the head are going to be uh, part of a broth that we're going to make. But I do want, I want the collar separate. I want to roast the collar. And there's a little hinge. Every collar on every fish attaches just a little bit differently just to make things hard. Shears are good to get them off. But there's this little hinge up here. Let's see if I can get underneath it. But taking the collar off, I've never done it in a pretty fashion. It's always brute force. It's right there. There you go. So like I said, I never do it in a pretty way. You just got one unhooked and take the other off. Alright, so we're going to clean out the head a little bit, take out those gills and that is going into a broth and then we'll clean up this collard. This is going to go into a uh, into a marinade and then we're going to broil this collar for the dish. So two things, uh, one, whenever I'm doing fish for simi, uh, sashimi or sushi, I do wrap it in a paper towel and then this will go into the fridge to rest for a little bit while we get everything else ready. And it gives the fish a chance to relax a bit and not be as chewy when you're eating it. Uh, eating it raw. So those will go into the fridge. The other thing, so I pulled the gills out, uh, cleaned up the head just a little bit. Oh, uh oh, somebody's breaking into a car. I have my collar ready to go into a marinade. We'll do that in a second. And then one of the other things that I do here with the body, when you break it open, you pull out this lining I didn't get all of it out, but you have this red, what I believe is referred to as the kidney. And uh, that can darken up a broth and make it a little bit muddy or metallic. Uh, one of the things I do is I have a little uh, scrub brush. And I go in there with the scrub brush and get the majority of that out. So this is all ready. We'll put these aside, these in the fridge. We'll throw this into the marinade. Okay, marinade, super, super simple. Um, all we're gonna do, a little bit of brown sugar. And then I have soy sauce. And you could use just regular um, sesame oil, but this is a chili oil made with sesame oil 
So just a couple of a uh, couple of drops of that in there. Oh, probably got to take the lid off, right? Or the seal, rather. Aha! That'll help. Okay, collar's going in, and then that'll go in the fridge and stay in the marinade until we throw it into the oven, which will be once we get the broth finished. I like doing marinades in bags like this because you can do exactly what I'm doing now, where if it's in a bowl to mix it around, you can kind of walk past it in the fridge and give it a flip, make sure everything gets covered. So for our broth, we're gonna do something very, very simple. Number one, just throw the head in there. Like I said, we pulled out the gills, gave it a clean, so that it, this'll be a nice, clean broth and then we have our uh, rack here just give that a quick split and put that in as well put just a little bit of salt in there I'm not trying to put any uh, any color on there. I'm just warming it up a bit. Now we'll add that is just water and we're gonna bring that up to a boil. Add one other thing and that's it. So when it comes up to a boil I'll show you the secret ingredient. Another important thing always Skim the scuzz. So any of the any of the white bubbles, that's not it's not that it's bad. None of it's really bad. It's just you want to grab all this stuff that's a little bit brownish or tan. Because that'll that'll cloud up your broth. Alright. We're gonna lower this to a simmer put the lid on that's going to simmer for about an hour or so then we'll add the next ingredient okay ready for our secret ingredient um there's a japanese dish that's very simple and it's just rice with green tea and then a couple of savory proteins on top of the rice we're doing a play on that. So I have here green tea packets and I'm going to add those because our broth is almost ready to come off. So I'm going to add these just at the, uh, the last minute here. And this is actually toasted green tea. So it'll add an even deeper depth of flavor to our dish. So I am going to let these steep probably about 10 minutes and then we're gonna strain this and uh, cook our collar all right I'm sure the, the lighting is bad in here but you'll get the idea so our collar has been marinating a little over an hour so we're gonna put that skin side down have this set to broil putting that in for 15 minutes. Been about 13 minutes, but uh, that guy's so small, I don't want him to overcook. Oh yeah. Yep, that's good. Okay, we're ready to plate. So I have a little bit of leftover sushi rice and Nothing, uh, nothing special to that. It was just uh, seasoned with uh, rice vinegar. So, and that's actually cold. Oh, actually, I want to heat up our broth here. And then these are uh, shiso leaves. 
Shiso is Japanese mint. Has a really, really nice, nice flavor to it. And then this is furikake, which is just ground up nori, sesame seeds. And uh, this one actually has bonita flakes in it. But I think it's got a little bit of sugar in there, some salt, basically a rice seasoning. Okay, let's slice our, our blackfish. Now this would definitely benefit from like an entire night of resting. Um, it still may have a little bit of chew to it. But I think we'll be okay. And now what we have here is yuzu, yuzu kosho. And what that is, it is citrusy, spicy, salty. It's really an amazing condiment, but a little goes an incredibly long way. Very, very salty. But in the best way ever. <laughs> And it has very, very nice spice to it. And then our broth. And that's it. Actually, let me go grab a plate for the uh, collar. It's cooked perfectly. So, the only thing worse, I went looking for chopsticks in my house, and the only thing worse than no chopsticks is that I found one chopstick. <laughs> Why? Why is there one? So, we are unfortunately eating with a uh, with a fork this meal screams chopsticks but let's dig in oh, I'm gonna use my fingers just to show that that is absolutely see-through the bite on it isn't too bad considering it only rested for a little while. Mm. Just the smell of that green tea coming off of that is really lovely. But it's really interesting because it's cold on the top and now because the rice was cold it's a little bit warm on the bottom very light clean dish but that broth has a very nice flavor because we put the head and the rack in there mm. and that yuzu kosho um, hopefully I'm saying that correctly uh, has such flavor like I know it didn't look like I put a lot on there but, like I said, it's salty, citrus, mm, peppery. <laughs> and I actually like to eat the shiso leaves whole. 
Let's dig into this collar. Oh yeah. She's cooked perfectly. Oh, that's a good bite right there. Oh, that's an excellent bite. The caramelization on the other side from the brown sugar. Mm. Tiny bit of spice from that, uh, the sesame oil. But from the brown sugar and the uh, soy sauce, has a little bit of a teriyaki flavor. All right. Well, there you go. Amazing day of fishing. Mike, you are a legend, an absolute legend. We got out there. I mean, we, we could have gone out. If we went to that second spot first, we could have limited out and been home within an hour. Really was an amazing day. So thank you so much. Um, just incredible. And I just want to show, even if you are using the fillets, you can still fortify the meal using the entire fish so that nothing goes to waste. And especially on something like a blackfish where the season is so short, it's, it's a shame to just fillet them and get rid of the rest. They're an excellent chowder fish. Um, they're an excellent fish all around. Believe it or not, I'm actually going to uh, freeze a couple of fillets and bring them back down to Key West because Aaron's never had uh, blackfish. So, And speaking of that, I'm leaving very soon to go back to Key West for all of you that keep asking. So I'll be back down there. Um, and yeah, see what actually might have a couple more episodes here, but I'll see you back in Key West. Either way, I will see you on the next one right here.